Welcome to First and Ten. Haven't done this in a while, but I'm filling in for Emily Cochran and Hustlin' House Sherrick tonight. It was semifinal action across the region. We've got four local matchups, but none bigger than the rematch everyone was looking forward to. Sarah Land at Theodore. It is our Fox 10 Game of the Week. Well, the Spartans and Bobcats were number one and number two in 6A Region 1. Theodore edging out Sarah Land during the regular season by just one point. But tonight's rematch with a lot on the line for both teams. We're talking about a spot in the state championship game in Auburn. Fox News' Dacian Smith is in Theodore tonight for all the high-powered action. Dacian, did the fans get their money's worth for this one? Well, if you were at this game, it's easy to see why these were the number one and number two teams all season. Theodore making it to the semifinals for the first time in school history. Meanwhile, Sarah Land looking to make their third trip to the state championship. And this was definitely a playoff atmosphere. Definitely something that fans will remember for quite some time. It's the rematch we've all been waiting for. Sarah Land versus Theodore with a spot in the state championship on the line. On the Bobcats' second drive, Will James takes the handoff, cuts outside, and fights with both DBs for 30 yards and the first down. And that sets up a Miguel Frias field goal to put the Bobcats up 3-0. The Spartans get their offense going on their next drive. K.J. Lacey takes a shot deep downfield and hits Brooks Womble down the sideline. Womble makes a man miss and gets brought down just outside the red zone. But a few plays later, Lacey heaves up a prayer for the end zone, but his pass is picked off by Braylon Edwards to shut the drive down, and the score stays 3-0 after the first quarter. The Spartans finally answer back in the second. Lacey drops back and lobs it up to a wide open C.D. Gill in the back of the end zone to give his team the lead. Both defenses would hold through the rest of the quarter, and the Spartans take a 7-3 lead into halftime. Sarah Land's offense would find their stride midway through the third quarter as they pull away for a 21 to 6 win over Theodore. That Spartan defense actually doing something that nobody's been able to do all season, and that's hold Theodore out of the end zone for the entire game. For the third time in history, the Spartans will travel to the state championship game. After the game, I had a chance to catch up with head coach Jeff Kelly, who had nothing, who was nothing but proud of this team. Everything they've overcome, everything they've accomplished, and taking this next step towards a state championship. Just so proud of our kids uh, and the position they put themselves into to go play a ball game for all the marbles, you know. You know, the adversity, the trials, the, the, the challenges, you know, throughout the year that, that our kids have just been resilient. It's one of the most mature, the most mature football team that I've ever had, and I'm so proud of them, and I look forward to seeing them go compete next week. I think we all are definitely a lot to be proud of for this team. Again, he kind of hit on it. This team does have a young core. KJ Lacey, Sante McWilliams, Ryan Williams, their three big playmakers, all sophomores, and they will take that trip to Auburn next week to play for the 6A state title against Mountain Brook. Again, a lot to be proud of for the Sarah Land Spartans, but take nothing away from the Theodore Bobcats season to remember for them 13 and one on the season undefeated up until this game a lot of records broken for Theodore again nothing no, take nothing away from head coach Eric Collier and this team but again Sarah Land will be on the road at Auburn next week as they take on Mountain Brook for the 6A state title it's their third time making the trip can they get it done this time? Well, the third time being the charm. I can't wait to check it out next week. But that does it from C.A. Douglas Field. Byron, back to you. All right, Dacian, thanks very much. Hard to believe Spartans have only been playing football for 12 years, and now they're heading back to the ship. It's third time for them. All right, let's go to Westmobile now, the 5A semifinal. Faith Academy Rams hosting Charles Henderson. The Rams coming off a huge win last week against Gulf Shores. The Trojans knocking off UMS right. The last time these teams played each other, Faith Academy shut out Charles Henderson 31 zip in 2019. Fox the News' Stephen Moody now joining us live from Ram Field with the game highlights. And Steve, Charles Henderson avoided the shutout this year, didn't they? 
Byron, that's right. Both of these teams have had impressive runs leading up to this point. Charles Henderson beating previously undefeated UMS right. And of course, like you just mentioned, Faith Academy knocking off Gulf Shores a week ago. But tonight, this one was for the coveted spot in the Super 7s. Here's how this one went down. Ram Stadium is packed tonight on Black Friday for semifinal action. First quarter now, and Charles Henderson strikes first. Parker Adams is going to find Jawan Boyd, who makes the one-handed grab, and he'll take it all the way inside of the five. That's going to set up this next play as Boyd finishes the job with the rushing touchdown. Trojans up seven to nothing. Second quarter now, and it's Adams again to Jawan Boyd. This time, he catches it in the end zone for another Charles Henderson touchdown. Trojans go up 14 to nothing. Still second quarter in Faith Academy showing some fight. Adams is picked off by Dorian Smith, the wide receiver doing some work at corner, and he puts the Rams on the board with a pick six. They would miss the extra point and go into halftime down 14 to six at home. And Faith Academy loses at home 27 to 12, ending their amazing season in the semifinals. I'll call up with legendary head coach Jack French after this one as he reflected on the season. Well, I, I can tell you, as I, I just said, you know, we, 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 uh, we exceeded our own expectations. You know, we didn't know that we would be in the semifinals, you know, and, and here we are. You know, we, we played hard, we ran into a good football team. And uh, they're, they're a team that's going to need to be reckoned with even next week. And, uh, you know, uh, they earned their spot. And, and we're proud of the spot that, that, that we earned for ourselves. And Charles Henderson now moves on to the 5A state championship where they will face another Rams team, the Ramsey Rams out of Birmingham, who won their game tonight against Pleasant Grove. We'll have all of the highlights. Our Dacia Smith will be down there from Auburn to show you everything from the teams in our area. Can't wait to bring that to you. But for now, reporting live here at Ram Stadium, Stephen Moody. Fox News. All right, Stephen, here's hoping they both come back with some blue maps. All right, for now, the St. James Trojans travel to Mobile Christian to play the Leopards. The Trojans defeated the Leopards tonight 35-7. St. James will go on to play Piedmont next Thursday at 11 o'clock in Auburn. So Mobile Christian season, which was a challenging one, comes to end tonight at the, at the hands of Montgomery St. James School, 35-7 over the Leopards. Now, let's move to 1A. The Leroy Bears playing the Millery Wildcats. This is a real backyard brawl for a spot in the state championship game. The Bears taking it to the Wildcats, 28-11. The 1A blue map game kicks off next Thursday for the Bears at 3 o'clock.